So, we left off last with a mech raid coming in. Looks like we got a heaping helping of centipedes, uh, one termite, three pikemen, and a pair of scythers. Not a partridge in a pear tree to be found, but uh, they're coming in and uh, we're going to have to do something about that. So... Let's, uh, let's get everybody going, and uh, I'm going to bring Edie out here to uh, see if I can get a cheeky, uh, a cheeky berserk on, on this guy. Hopefully they just go around the geothermal. That's the, that is the hope. Um. Looks like we will get that. Okay, shooting that is not helping your case, termite. Oh, actually, they're gonna shoot that for a long time. Just gonna complicate things because everybody else is just gonna kind of like aggregate in a circle around them. I mean, I was eventually gonna have to destroy this ancient war walker, so <laughs> there's something to be said for that. Uh, but. The fact that this raid is like feeling obstructed by uh, by this is gonna cause problems because the termite was up ahead and was kind of separated and now it's not. They couldn't walk around. <laughs> this is the most anticlimactic start to uh, to a RimWorld episode I think I've had in a long time. So right about now. Okay. That's how we do that. Uh, we still have bangs with some EMP grenades, which is a good way to beat. Wait, where's Bivor? Is Bivor in? Okay, Bivor just didn't come out. That's a. Uh... That's one of those things that you kind of wonder about. Ooh, looks like we're fighting over here, which isn't, that isn't bad news for us. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to get, I want to get green in a good position. We're going to have pretty good like angles on things. Uh, where's Elliot at? Uh, This is going to be a bit of a mess. Uh, okay, right. Okay, right off the bat, green took a big hit. I don't like to see that. Uh, I'm going to have Randy drop a shield pack here. While, uh, we hopefully get this sorted. Uh, where did Bangs go? We're probably throwing it in the right place anyways, but... Hmm. Oh, that was a great shot. Uh... Morrison, you're you're not on fire. So come back. No, get behind cover. Yet, oh my God, get behind cover for the love of all that is holy. Uh, I'm gonna do. Do I have two skips in me? No, I don't. So. I think I'm actually gonna 
shift some people over. Because we can probably send Bivor in on this one. We just need this one to die because it's very adapted. Uh, so we're not getting much out of it. Um, where's green at? Green? I'm just going to send this one here. And I'm just going to have Ambas. No, Ambas, that's not how you do that. Uh... And I don't think, uh, I don't think Bivor has anything that causes, uh, who needs treatment all of a sudden? Okay, I think we're, I think we're good. I'm going to let Amboss take the, take that out. Okay. After Amboss takes the centipede out, we can extinguish anything that remains, but... That went relatively well. We did use up a shield pack, uh, but but that's all she wrote. Uh, we have no need for anything crazy here. Uh, we're already sitting on just a heap of mechs, uh, mech corpses that need to be processed. So, I'm not expecting the bears to grab that stuff. Everyone else should be eating meals and chilling. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm starting to remember where we stand on some things. Uh, oh, this is not done yet. Our vanimetric power cell is exposed. Uh, but, yeah. That, that fight went pretty well. Uh, oh, yeah. Are, are we... Are we panicking because we're out of... We are panicking because we're out of fungus. And we're running on empty. Uh, I don't think... I think our fastest solution is to add a, more, a few more uh, wind turbines here to try and offset our power issues uh why can i not place one here oh i think the wind turbine is already going to connect there uh and then bangs at least for the time being i'm not gonna assume that you're uh that you're going to be on permanent EMP duty. We have a ton of repairs to do here. We have a lot of work to do as well. Uh, now, where did all of... Oh, this, this came from the... The fact that we called in folks. Uh, so let's get that stuff hauled. Get this hauled. Oh, do we not have a door here anymore? Or is the door just held open? Eh, we'll find out. Steroid is stargazing. All right, yeah, we do need a door here as well. And we probably need that sooner rather than later. I guess we took a few hits, so the infirmary is getting some getting some attention at the moment. Uh
And the ambrosia that we boxed in, it's coming up. And if we're going to put wind turbines here, we're also going to need to put down concrete. Oh, wait. This is not... Uh... Let's get rid of that. And, uh, adjust that that away. Because, <sighs> yeah, we're about to lose a lot of power. <laughs> um, and I just can't, I can't help but feel like Flynn, Elliot... Who are the people? Flynn, Elliot, Bangs, and Kenta. I don't want them doing anything else. Okay. They should not be. Please construct things. Alright, this is... Oh, Flynn. Pods and hives. Flynn, if you could work on the power cable. <laughs> um. Let's see. 85 hives is a lot of hives. We can get a persona core out of it. We don't care about that. We could get some, some of that. Uh. 85 Hives is in that danger zone where, depending on where it spawns in the fungal fields, can absolutely destroy us. Alright, did we get... have we gotten this fully connected back up? Looks like yes. That geothermal is back online. I'm gonna forbid those. Unfortunately, these aren't doing anything until uh It's weird that you can't pre build the these connections. Uh I'd love it if we focused less on the the concrete and a little more on the uh, on the wind turbines, but hey, where's this alpaca that's self-tamed? Kind of wish my hitching post wasn't uh wasn't there, but yeah, power is a uh, power is a problem, and we just we don't have enough fungus to keep ourselves in a good place um we also don't really have the ability to expand uh this right now unless we wanted i think technically mugs could <laughs> with a construction level of one that's a that's gonna be a hard that's gonna be a hard sell right there Okay, Flynn, can you prioritize deconstructing this? I want to get the wind turbine built. Uh, I, I, Flynn, I absolutely told you to work on the wind turbine. I'm like 80% sure. Okay, we got some wind turbines in place. Uh, now we can... Did I just misplace this wind turbine? Maybe I did. Because <laughs> it seems like they're, they're all right next to each other, except for this one. Uh... So let's just fix that. Yeah, it looks like I just goofed there. I 
I see Flynn being like, I can do this thing, and then doing something else random. Which you love to see. Alright. Now, now we're off by one on this, so let's cancel all of these. Remove those floors. Okay. Okay, don't care so much about uh, cash of supplies expiring. Oh, but while we are at it, uh, both of these required 11 colonists. We're not doing them. So let's trash them and wait for better relic quests. Looks like we're getting our power back, which uh, I, I don't know how we're going to balance out uh, on power. Have not done the math. All right. It's a big old, big old raid. Uh, to be on the safe side, I am going to bring out some polar bears. Not the baby polar bears. And are we assuming they're coming in this way? It's probably a safe assumption, and if that's the case, I'm just gonna try and get over here quickly. This is a pretty good angle for us to just mow them down. Tribals we're not too terribly afraid of. As long as we don't get like hit by a big smattering of them all at once. We may want to I guess I set us up a little further back than I we necessarily wanted to be. Uh Elliot? Where's Elliot? Hmm. You're not quite where I need you to be, are you, Elliot? Uh Before, before we get anywhere too crazy. Oh, I see. I shouldn't have animals associated with Elliot if we're uh, if we're gonna do that. Um, let's get Valentin out over here. Everyone else, just go tend to people. How long does this polar bear have? Five hours. Morrison. Tend to polar bear without medicine, then rescue polar bear. All right. Now, what a mess they've made. Uh, let's let's check our our folks. Like, how am I clicking on locust there? All right, here we go. So, psychopath night owl, not interesting. Psychopath Teetotaler, no. Ironwold Slothful, no. Nella Bomar, Body Purist, no. Okay, so let's have Valentin hop to here. And Bivor. Melee you. Mela, you. Did I look at Stork? 
unclear to me. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, I did. Not good. That was two with one volley. Uh, you gotta, you gotta give props to Valentin sometimes. Uh... All right, we can uh, turn off, let the animals go home. How's the, how's this guy doing? 10 hours? All right. Now, Bibor, did you get your full share? Eh, pretty close. All the bears are going and doing weird things. Valentin can head back in. And now it is time to queue up the great reallocation. Uh, all right, looks good. Nicely done, Morrison. That's what I like to see. All right. We got multiple ho holes in our defenses, uh, if we're being honest. Kenta? That's probably why we're not getting as much construction done as I would like us to. Let's, let's close up the walls here. Okay, Morrison. This is a little annoying when we get attacked from that angle. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how I want to fix that. Um, But the bears are doing work. Let me get rid of these chunks while we're at it too. Uh, although, I, am, I think we're starting to get to the point where we don't have places to put them. Like this is pretty close to full up. Okay, steroid is on a work frenzy, which might help us clear out the the smeltable tools that we've uh, collected. Flynn, what are you doing? You're consuming a lavish meal. I have to do that. Work on the slate wall. Let's get let's get our defenses closed up. I think that was two in a row right there. three in a row. Have I suddenly found myself on Randy Random? <laughs> Flynn, did you finish this up? You did exactly what I imagined you would do. which is exactly wrong. Our, our ability to build things quickly, like our construction capacity, remains pretty garbage. Are we full on corpses over here? No. Just, uh... Just our bears uh, being slackers. Yeah, Kenta, you're not done yet. Oh, thrombos. I think we're probably just going to hunt them. Uh, wow, that's a big bunch of thrombos right there. 
Okay, Flynn, I'm not letting you leave before you finish all of these. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Oh, how did we end up doing this? We have a ton of repairing to do, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain too much. Now that I think about it, we could use an animal pulser. This number of rare thrombos could do some, uh, some work on, on some things. Is this not in our work zone? That's why this isn't getting done. I'm like sitting over here being like, please build the walls. Uh, I'm actually surprised that any of this floor got built since it wasn't in the work zone. Is it in the cook zone? Oh, so only our cook builders have been working on this. That's when you know, uh, that's when you know things have gotten a little wonky. We have a lot of stuff. Um, what's our relations looking like? We also haven't been doing a very good job, I don't think, maintaining those. Oh, Kenta, my, my man. What had you down? Your standard jealousy. You're wet, which is you're gonna continue to be wet. You ate without a table. All right, well, your mood target's pretty high, so I think we will we will rebound here. Now, are we low on meat? Yeah, a little bit, which that is an argument to uh, hunt some thrumbo. We'll hunt them in the morning. Valentin's doing a pretty okay job working on this tree. It's amazing how much upkeep those take, though. Maybe we should load some of these dusters in and just send them off to our friends. I mean, some of this stuff, like... Why is a 74% cataphract armor? Why is, why is no one wearing that? Um, all right, we're at hour four, so let's, uh, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to manually do this, uh, when Valentin wakes up. Slowly, slowly getting things back in order. Uh, all right, you two, get out here. faster than this one now, so should be a... Alright. That's what you like to see. Clean up some... Uh... Yeah, we've pretty much... We've pulled in everything we care about from here. Now we got two that are in pairs here. Uh, if we have white take the first shot, I think we're less likely to get a chain reaction here. Hey, Fletch, uh, I just I just ditched the two relic quests that we uh, that we had that were the abandon your colony uh, quests. So I'm uh, I'm waiting for new ones to show up. 
and uh, and I'm working over some thrombos in the meantime. Which psi powers make thrombos much more pleasant to to fight? So I probably should have gotten white set up a little earlier with uh with with powers, and I probably should try and find a burden. Uh, a burden uh, psi power because it's just so handy. But these two just tear up the thrombos at this point. It's uh it's not even fair. They're they're so fast with all their bionics and Arcotech legs. So what's the uh, what's the latest uh, on your uh, on your cannibal colony, Fletch? How uh, how is that going? I absolutely loved uh, reading through what you've kind of learned so far. This seems very inefficient, meleeing this to death. But when things are downed, shooting them is generally seems well. Let's. Yeah, you just you miss so much. I guess we're at least training shooting this way, maybe. All right, I'm probably pushing these two to their breaking point. Ah, eh, we can get one more. Oh, what did I just... Did I just not stun it? Just Valentin just took one because I'm uh trying to to read what you're saying at the same time that I'm uh trying to kill these thrombos. Yep, I am. Uh, I am familiar with the uh, with the constant raiding demand. Uh, is your does your ideology have raiding as a tenant? Because that's a that's a great mood boost that you get for uh, for raiding. When raiders be raiding, they are very happy. It's a uh, it's obviously a little cheaty, but you absolutely can. Uh, can go into dev mode really easily and change your ideology if you uh if you see fit. Oh, Cougar is hunting white. Are you serious right now? <laughs> white, you're you're our you're our master hunter and you just got you just got tore up by a uh, by a random cougar. Okay, can be war, you can take care of that. Alright. I'm gonna have White try and take out this this other thrumbo before uh before they wander off. Oh, animal disease plague. Alright. Are you serious right now? This is the most tenacious freaking cougar and why is oh i have white on hold fire no fire at will what's going on here all right that was weird As a side note, uh, do you butcher your human corpses before you uh, before you return? Because it actually saves a lot on weight if you build a butcher's table uh, while you're out there, and uh, and then caravan back with the with the weight. What? Is, I wish this thrombo would aggro on us. So, so you generally find that that by the end of the raids you can carry back everything that you uh that you need to 
Hmm, that's interesting. So you think that the decay rate might be? Oh my gosh, this is just... There's so many notifications. All right, there we go. Uh, I For some reason, I feel like the decay rate is the same. Uh, and it might reset, actually, if you... Uh, it might reset when you butcher, but citation needed on that one. Yep. And you're also getting the mood bonus for uh, for your clothing being made out of human leather. I pr I presume that's another uh, it's another nice cannibal bonus. So for the time being, I'm gonna toggle off refueling. I want to see how we do on uh, on power with just the geothermals. We have three geothermals plus now eight windmills. I want to I want to see if we can if we can manage that. Yep, just just in case anyone needs a jacket. You're such a you're such a gentleman. <laughs> I forget what type of uh what type of environment did you uh did you settle in? I I don't think we talked about that. Are you in a pretty a pretty normal like temperate zone or Okay. So so high disease rate among other things. Uh Lots of lots of flu and uh and things. Okay, I want to check on Lolita cuz I saw Lolita had the plague. Okay. Decently tended. Oh, of course. Lighten the place on fire. Uh, let's go have green firefight. There we go. And then, ah, oh, we didn't have our backup batteries online, so we're gonna we're gonna be hurting for uh, for power for a bit. Yeah, are you just, given your need for food, are you just kind of enemies with everyone? Oh, there's one more Thrumbo. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this Thrumbo going. That was a big pack of Thrumbos that we had come in. Uh, So this has happened before. I think that this is a bug where if an animal has decided to leave the map, it uh, it does not, even though it revenges, it does not aggro. Uh, probably exploitable in the early game, but... They never underestimate the power of human leather clothing gifts. <laughs> Guys, thrombos are always impressively durable. I'm just gonna let this uh, let this bleed out now. It's not getting back up. And our stores are are no longer bare. <laughs> winning, winning hearts and minds, Fletch. That's the uh, that's the RimWorld way. All right, what else what else do we have on our wildlife tab here? Oh. Game is sending us a uh, gifts of psychic soothes. We now uh, we can still use a bit more meat. So I'm I am going to hunt these buffalo. Uh based on based on our historical performance, they will immediately revenge on us. If I only send white out there, which I think is what I'm going to do, I'll just have white do all the hunting on these. White's animal handling is so high that white is much less likely to uh, to get revenged on. Uh, 
and yeah, this fungal fields are not uh, are not producing at the rate that we uh, that we need them to, which might mean we need more fungal fields, uh, which would be a bit of a painful experience, but. Uh, uh, there were a lot of thrombos. Uh, it was kind of surprising. I think it was when the event came in. I don't think the events tell you how many showed up, but I think it was six or seven. Uh, six or seven showed up, and then we do have five thrombos of our own hanging out. So, between those two, yeah, it's been a, it's been a thrombotastic uh, season. I think we probably have, we have five thrombo horns at the moment. Are we really need to get rid of some stuff? Uh, we need to. We probably need to offload some as gifts. Uh, oh yeah, we need to rebuild these transport pods. Oh, we probably can't because we're out of chem fuel. Uh, I I'm not really considering that at this point. Flesh, I feel like things are kind of are kind of beyond that point now. Uh, like, you know, there's there's a time and a place where it's like, you know, you're feeling like it would be protectionary to have a second colony as backup. I mean, at this point, we're sort of we're we're beyond the point of being well established. Uh, I guess is a good way to put it. And in fact, I'm gonna start lowering. Uh, we're only a few away from being 100% done with animal linking. Uh, inspired trade on Valentin. We would need a pen for the pigs, but I don't think I care. Uh, harsh, I know, but... I could just I'm just gonna use up Valentin's trade here to uh just to clear things up. Oh, we got another another shipment of geese coming in. Uh we have a lot of bird skin, I reckon, now as well. Let's see. We'll take your components. We don't really need the reinforced barrels. Oh, this is a good time for me to check to see. Do we have a burden one here? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, so many cooking, mining. Should use some of those up. We have two architect eyes. That's a thing that I should remember. Uh, Looks like we just from raids we've collected a lot of stuff. Um Which is no surprise. I'm pack ratting uh some of the, the garbage runoff of raids, unfortunately. Oh, we still have a little bit of stuff left over from uh From that, we have a, an actual trade caravan coming in uh, that will have ED handle now that we've gotten rid of uh, the inspired trade on Valentin. Uh, it's a go frenzy and a work frenzy. Okay. This is kind of like the optimal time for us to catch them, so if ED can get in here and uh, make the trade before they wander too far afield, that would be great. They have 868 insect meat. Weird as it sounds, I'm probably going to buy that uh, for conversion into uh, into chem fuel because we are so broke on chem fuel. We need all their nutrimine. We'll take their insect meat. 
And then some of these random meats, like we don't need to keep donkey meat around, rat meat, rhino meat, venison. We have an insane amount of thrumbo meat. All right. Oh yeah, and then we'll get rid of, we'll offload all our bird meat, all our bird skin, our plain leather, blue fur, camel fur. Oh, oops. we're already, we're already over. Uh, All right, we're pretty close. What, can we get away with like 50 of this? More like 70 or 80. Good enough. Now, we do have the problem of, yep, it all got delivered over here because I wasn't paying attention to where their pack animals are. Uh, and now some of this is going to get eaten, but hopefully the bears will get out there pretty quick and pick it up. Yeah, I had dreams of, of establishing another colony, and then it just never... The time never felt right. Uh, but we need... We need to get chem fuel to make sure that all these are set up appropriately and then i was thinking we should just start putting together care packages to send to uh to our friends since we haven't had a surplus of fungus to send to them in a while we we need to probably start sending like used up clothing uh which we also have an exceptionally large amount of but i'm very impressed even without our chem fuel reactors going we're in pretty good shape <laughs> well, you, we started out with a lot of action, to be clear. You uh, you were late to the party. Uh, we do have a lot of ancient complexes to raid, so we could definitely do an ancient complex raid. Uh, but right before you showed up, we had uh, a mech raid, a mech raid, and then a tribal raid. They're all far away, Fletch. Like... All the way over here, Pig Town. That's like that's outside of uh, outside of jump range. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Like I don't think we can actually get a uh, get jump pods there. So we'd actually have to to full on caravan it. You think so? Well, here I wanted to. I'm gonna load this up with uh oh wait does this already have stuff in it no launch group one i'm just gonna grab some uh what do we have for dusters at the moment just grab those and pantaloons why do we have so many t tainted clothing that's worrisome all right, that's a, this is a king's ransom. Uh, may actually be worth too much there, but that'll get loaded up and then we'll, we'll check range. A corpse? I don't, I don't have a corpse handy. I mean, I got, I got a few over here. Uh, oh, this is where the tainted clothing is. Ah, uh, got it. Okay, I don't want... I don't want this to get loaded with the tainted clothing. Oh, and I can't tell which is the tainted stuff. Oh, actually, it's the stuff that's already here. Okay. Cancel that, cancel that. The rest is already loaded, so let's see. All right, you're right. We could we could go do, uh, do a pirate settlement. Uh, how much is this worth? This is only worth eight. Uh, who was the... All right, we'll just send it to... To them so we can we can send a lot more stuff uh, and probably should well that's I think it is the last muffalo that just revenged 
let's let's see what are we what are we looking at timing wise uh this was our pair this was our single event it would have to be really quick uh i feel like don't we have better things to do on the map we could get plain leather and pemmican 77 components 27 people See, this seems like a more uh, a more efficient use of our time. Still 27 people. It'll be a good amount of action. Uh, and we'll get 77 components out of it. How much time do we have left on this? 20 days? Wait, why are we running out of po power? Yeah, they do scale. Uh, all right, we still have power issues. Um, the insect meat. Oh, we're making kibble. Let's turn that off. I want the insect meat to go to making more chem fuel. Same with the uh, same with the fungus. Hour fifteen. Let's do the let's do the campsite. We'll take Amboss, Bivor, Valentin, Mule, White, Elliot, Edie, and Morrison. Oh, nice. That is another cool aspect of the uh, aspect of ideology. I have not done any of the gladiatorial duel stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's let's get loaded in, and we'll go do that uh, that camping site real quick. Uh, Bibor should have enough. Uh... Who are we waiting on? All right, transport pods loaded and ready to go. Wow, this is like a clown car. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to run over here in hopes that I can get a, a good angle on them. All right, let's uh, let's get Bibor here and Amboss here, and then... Mm, actually, let's, let's use these. Uh, okay, and then white, you're gonna, you're gonna poke the beehive. Actually, no, not white. Where's Elliot? Did I bring Elliot? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's have Elliot. Elliot doesn't have regular Berserk? What the what? Regular Berserk has a longer range, so that's why I was expecting that. Uh, I don't... Do not fire at will. I want you to... Oh, that was not, that was a, a misclick. Uh, let's get you all like this again. Okay, I misclicked and then I did not actually successfully undo it. Get a Berserk Pulse there to distract people a little bit. Okay, and then let's do 
let's see if anyone is worth uh, trying to grab. It, it could be in the cards for the next run, Fletch. No, no doubt about it. Uh, the, uh, the value proposition here is, is unfortunately a little, a little underwhelming for us. Uh, let's see. Where's my claim flag? All right. There we go. There's our components. Why did you not finish the job here? All right, and then I don't think there's very unlikely for there to be anything else in any of these, but we'll have Amboss do a quick check. We'll Pemmican action. That's awkward pathing. All right, let's... Uh, Reform the caravan, heading home. Take the components, we'll take the smoke leaf. Look at all this meat that we could benefit from if not for uh, the fact that that's not how we roll. Grab the steel, uh, for lack of a better thing to pick up, that's pretty good. And then we'll take the 1300 pemmican. Send, far skip. Wait, whose far skip am I using? Let's use Edie's far skip. All right. Oh, well, that was an awkward place for us to end up. I wish I wish you could pick which colonist you uh you far skip to. Oh, we did indeed rope the pig. So let's uh let's slaughter that. Look at all that pemmican. I don't need. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. Even with all those thrombos and all those muffalos, we're still not that full up on meat. Uh, We almost have our first ambrosia sprout coming in. Oh, it is ready to go. So hopefully we'll pick it up in the morning. Uh, our power situation is definitely a little volatile. Uh, But so is our food situation. I think we're just still we're still sitting on too many uh, too many bears. Back at it we go. Uh, so yeah, so we we've radically in. Oh, I guess this is not part of our home zone. So we've radically increased our uh, generation capacity for for power, but we're still we're still not quite breaking even. Um, and our pigs are making a mess. We should probably put like a second uh, second caravan spot somewhere. Why is there a wooden mace here? Oh wow! Why is there a bunch of like? random wooden garbage here. Um, I'm just gonna, we're just, we're just gonna do a quick uh, wooden. Make sure all that stuff is gone. And then, uh, we already got all the wooden stuff, but yeah, a lot of these, I just, can't say I care about a lot of these weapons, and they're... Some of them are worth a decent amount. 
So. I'll just do something like that as our next care package. I only want to keep two of each grenade type, so I'll also toss those in. All right. We'll see how much that one is worth. Also, look at this beer. The beer is getting out of control. We have another 700 beer. Looks like it's time for uh, for random uh, a random beggar to show up needing 700 beer. Right? That's the way that always goes. Yeah, we really we're not keeping up on uh, on chem fuel at all. Pete's mech cluster. Oh, another Vanimetric power cell and another Arcotech I. A smoke spear we don't care much about. Countdown activator, mech nodes, two low shields. I don't see an auto mortar on the list, so we'll probably take this. Yep, that looks like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, what's our current situation looking like? I think we have a little bit of time on this one, right? Yeah, we do. I want to do a bit of hunting before, uh, I mean, there's, there's not much for big game on the, uh, on the map, so. We can also, we can also really scale back our time meditating, which is going to make our colony much more productive. Uh, but I guess there's not a lot of value in, uh, in holding off on this quest. Let's see what it, uh, let's see what it looks like. All right, we kind of we like that as a as a spot. Um, we do have the problem that we're gonna have to wake it up because it is not going to. Uh, it has no activation, no proximity activators. Uh, oh, interesting. So this has two low shields and a high shield. Hmm. That means the, the low shields, like this centipede, we could snipe that centipede and wake up the cluster. It's one unstable power supply. We don't care that much about it. We'll let everybody sleep though. Um, Wait, how is there... Oh, that's Turt's... I was like, how is there someone in here? But the answer is that's just Turt's Spanish doing his thing. 149 year old... Nine years old. Bad back, cataracts, the whole deal. All right, people are starting to wake up. So, Valentin, I'm going to borrow you to... Try and just wake that up. The goal is we just want to we want to get something around this high shield. So something off to the right here. If we can if we can wake them up, that would be great because then if we have a pirate raid or something like that. Hey, Valentin, what are you doing? Oh, are you hold fire? Oops. I thought I specifically didn't set up hold fire. Uh, all right. So the easier way to do this is to uh, to just have someone do the EMP one as well. So let's. I was hoping we could we could snipe it, but we'll do we'll do both. Uh, hold fire. Hold fire. All right. Where did a little bit of insect jelly come from? That's so weird. Uh, 
Wait, why is this not? Oh, I haven't set a target. Got it. Got it. Hold on. Let's uh. Let's just aim for the center of things, and then. That should wake him up, no matter what. There we go. They are awake. All right. No more, uh... Valentin, you can go chill. Mule, you don't need to do that anymore. And then... Great, now we just have this little, uh, this little powder keg hanging out. Uh, I don't know that I fully know what smoke spewers do. Block the sun in a whole region of the planet. Okay. That's fine. Unless smoke spears kill wind, in which case, uh, I'm, I'm filled with regret. Um, but that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I think it is just coincidence that all of my wind turbines have shut off. <laughs> I hope. So what do we have assembling? Pikeman, centipede, scyther. Okay, so we're gonna have three more scythers that are gonna show up as part, or three more centipedes that are gonna show up as part of this. So we'll end up with a total of seven. That's not terrible. And hopefully we'll have some type of pirate raid come in and uh, and cause a cause a ruckus. Oh. These probably aren't in the... No, they are in the work zone. Hey, Morrison? What? Why can you not harvest these? It's because we don't have a stockpile that includes ambrosia? I mean, I'm... I'm baffled here. Uh, orders harvest. Do I have to manually flag them for harvesting? Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. This is actually, this is a useful thing to know. So if you put a grow zone that covers your ambrosia, this is something that I knew and then just completely blanked on, uh, and then you want to allow sowing off, but allow cutting on, then they will automatically be harvested. Nice. Yeah, I've been doing that all the time previously, and then my, uh, then I completely forgot. So I don't think the smoke spewer, it's not like a fog spewer, so it's not generating any uh, any penalty to shooting, except for the darkness, which obviously we're okay with. We love the darkness. The band is pretty good, too, for being honest. But boy, it has made our world especially dark, hasn't it? <laughs> Seems like we have enough neural superchargers. I say, what is the what was the power situation that's making this not connected? That's odd. Is there an orphaned power cable somewhere? Oh, right here. How curious. All right, they're assembling more mechs, which is fine. We just assume this not trigger until the full complement of mechs is there. I, I hate defeating a mech cluster and then... Uh, and then having to deal with the stragglers rolling in after that. Um, we're going to need a new home for this vanometric power cell.
right here might be the best. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mine this, mine this, and mine this in anticipation of when we uh when we get that that second cell. Randy's playing a little tune on the piano. Yeah, things are things are pretty dire from uh, having enough organics for uh, creating chem fuel. Seems like we're creating chem fuel as fast as we can, and we're just burning through, uh, burning through things. Did I mind this one too? Yeah. And actually, if we're gonna be if we're gonna be doing this, this is probably the space that we wanna. We want to have set up. Yep, that is so frustrating. Uh, oh, and then I did this just in time to wish that I had not done it, as is tradition. Uh, it does seem like the smoke spear has killed the wind. Hey, Stakes, how's it going? Happy Friday. We're, we're having a bit of a power outage at the moment. Uh, and it seems like the smoke spewer is causing the wind to die down. But I need a citation on that. Uh, things are a little dicey at the moment uh, in terms of the fact that I've, I've gotten ourselves into a bit of a bad situation uh, power-wise. Uh, we don't have enough organics to feed all of our bears. Uh, to the point where we might actually want to lessen our bear population. Uh, we also have too many thrombos, if I'm being honest. Let's go through the thrombos one by one and see what their training looks like. Like this thrombo is is great. This thrombo is great. We're just so good at training thrombos. Are they all fully trained? This one is not. It's a juvenile though. I don't want to start a juvenile. And this one is pregnant. <sighs> all right. I think the thrombo experiment is uh, is past its prime. Um, they haven't been doing us much good, and they're very expensive to upkeep to the point where I think they're harming our food supply. Uh, I think I'm going to divest from thrombos. That or we keep one. We'll keep one. Sorry, other thrombos. We'll keep the, the 87 year old pregnant thrombo and probably its offspring as well. And then we're not doing a lot of caravanning, and the... Well, I'll keep the horses for now. They do come in handy. It is a sad day. But I'm really starting to think that the smoke spewer is stopping the, uh... Is stopping the sun. Or stopping the, uh... Stopping the wind, that is. Um, let's, let's wait and see. I mean, the wind is picking up a little bit, so maybe we've just been getting a little unlucky. Uh, uh, it is whoever's on animal handling stakes. So uh, so it was, it was done by a combination of folks. Uh, the deed has already been done. Rip, rest in pieces, thrum, sweet, my sweet thrumbo children. Uh, but, uh, but yep, this is the only thrombo that remains. Maybe we should name it as the sole survivor. We could have... We could have also uh, sold the thrombos. Thrombos are worth an exceptional amount, but... I think they were just eating us out of house and home. We, uh, we let it go a little too long.
Also, this pemmican. I don't care about it. Uh, I don't even want pemmican. In the main storage room, I'd rather it be over here and have our animals eat it. But yeah, hopefully we'll see uh, we'll see an uptick in production from the fungal fields now that we have a lot less uh, giant omnivores eating them. All right, and then the other thing that I was going to do is I'm going to install these two uh, mech power cells that we have, the two remaining ones here, and then I will rebuild a copy of that. And we have a spot for our vanometric power cells whenever. Uh, is this safe? This is relatively safe to have the bears haul. I don't think the bears are going to path by. Although, actually, there's not going to be anything left by the time the bears get out here. Like, the, the wildlife is eating all of the smoke leaf. So, what can you do? But now this is sorted. And then I, I feel like I should also, while we're at it, uh, smooth these walls. There's no reason not to. Oh my gosh, the, the lack of power is really... This stinks. Uh, I'm not sure what... What has happened? This is still connected? Yep. So I haven't done anything funny there. This is still connected. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit at a loss for... Uh, I mean, the only thing is we do still have these pods going. Uh, and white's going to get cut off if we don't get some power going pretty soon. Um, there's no way this geothermal isn't connected, right? <laughs> it's the, the most ge connected geothermal the world has ever seen. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what change that is causing such dire, such a dire situation. It certainly feels like our wind turbines are acting at a fraction of their previous capacity. Let's uh, let's try and learn a thing. So, oh, no, that's not what it was. Hmm. Okay, doesn't say anything in the wiki about smoke spewers affecting wind levels. Uh, so the mystery, the mystery remains. Uh, I'm gonna put power conduits underneath these statues. These speakers draw some power, and if we're if we're in a bit of trouble, a bit of trouble in that regard, uh, that's a good place to shave off a little bit. Also, does this take power? No, cryosleep caskets do not. Uh, we do have the extra sun lamp doing. Uh, that could be what's causing some of our power issues. Um, of these crops, I don't think I care about this at the moment. Or this. So we're gonna we're gonna shut off these two crops, keep the devil strand and the smoke leaf going. Actually I'd rather hold on, if we're if we're picking two not to not to be active, let's do the back two. I don't care as much about hops and smoke leaf. And then we'll see if that uh that settles things down a, a notch or two. And then we're just really hoping for a really big pirate raid. Something with lots of doomsday launchers that are all going to get used up on the mech cluster. All right, white's uh, white did not get uh, did not get booted out, so that's good. We'll have another vanometric power cell soon. Well, whenever the mech cluster disappears. Ever since we abandoned those quests, we haven't gotten another uh, another relic quest. 
Wow. Now that those thrombos are gone, we're like, we're sitting pretty on fungus again. Wow. What a difference. Uh, those thrombos were absolutely eating us out of house and home for very little benefit. And they weren't doing that much work. Our bears haul nearly as well. Okay, so I have... Okay, I want this one to continue. But these two I'm going to leave off. And we'll see if we can rebound on power just a smidge. Bangs, why are you cleaning? There's no crafting to be done? Is that true? Maybe there isn't. I'm a little curious why we don't have more flak vests. 52, 52. What is our flak vest set at? Oh, 51. All right, let's let's keep 3 at 80% or better so that we we have a good supply of those. Oh, transport pod crash. Hey, Robbie, how's it going? Let's see. We have Zhang, too smart and kind, incapable of dumb labor, plant work, and mining. This does not look like someone we are going to, uh, we're going to save. Uh, and Awoken, and the Devil Outlaws are not someone that we can, uh, we can make friends with. So, I don't see much purpose in doing anything with them. We could capture them, but we're kind of over having prisoners. Uh, so for now, let's just, uh... Let's just wait with bated breath. Glad to hear it, Robbie. Glad to hear it. It was a, it was a busy weekend over here, but uh, but it's been a good one. Oh, the power outages are killing us. Even with uh, even with all of these lights off. Hmm. Can't help but feel like all these pods aren't helping us either. Uh, but how much chem fuel do we have? Okay, we have enough chem fuel that I am going to uh, have these ones refueled. Kenta's here, so Kenta's just going to do this. This will give us a quick... That's not where you should be taking that from. A quick 8,000 uh, extra watts on the grid. So I've been trying to figure that out, uh, Fletch, and it's actually not immediately evident to me. So I have a few suspicions, but the main thing I'm noticing is our wind turbines are working at a tiny fraction of what I think they previously were producing. And I think that might be because of the, uh, the smoke spewer, actually. Uh, I checked on the wiki and I did not see any information to indicate that that's the way that works, but it really seems to be behaving that way. Uh, so, and, and obviously we ran out of chem fuel. So our, our chem fuel generators were out offline and that's been hitting us hard in terms of power generation. Uh, I, I actually, uh, I downsized our thrombo population because we didn't have enough organics to keep our chem fuel supply up. So uh, hopefully now, will rebound and have a surplus of fungus. Uh, that is a thing that I wish for us. But yeah, it's definitely a multi-factor problem. Yes, that would be, that would be nice. Uh, the, that would certainly be useful because here, here our wind generators are totally picking up solid amount of steam they never max out though that's this is what i'm kind of noticing is, is it feels like they they top out around 60 percent rather than 100 percent, and that seems new since the smoke spear came the smoke spear is not supposed to adjust that but 
it's the the closest thing to a theory that I have at the moment. But we should be good on power with uh, with these 16 uh, 16 chem fuel generators running, and I think we have enough chem fuel now to keep that running. Oh, looks like Randy's getting their last uh, their last level of psi. At which point we will not have will not have any other tribals that are not fully maxed out on uh, psi level. Let's double check that just while we're here. Uh, level six, level six, level six, level five, but going on level six, level six, six, six. Yep. So yeah, so everybody is max level psi casting from a tribal perspective, uh, which is great, uh, certainly awesome. But uh, but that means that we can we can pare back pretty significantly the amount of time we spend uh, meditating at the tree. Let's see. So these are all our tribals. Oh, white schedule is still all funky. Uh, we'll do something like that. If we had anima stones, we might actually be able to create a space here for them to meditate uh, to prevent having to go back and forth all the way to the anima tree. Uh, that was always a very frustrating uh, facet of the way that this map layout happened. Skip shield seems awful uh, as far as abilities go. Not a particularly useful one. There might be some uses. Might be useful for like mech clusters uh, potentially. But, but okay, it looks like we are at least staying above water during the day on production, on uh on power, so I think we're we've probably stabilized. Uh, I'm gonna leave these two off just for the moment. Make sure the ambrosia is still going. I'm kind of worried that the ambrosia being here is getting uh, it's getting eaten by the bears. We're supposed to technically refrigerate ambrosia. Uh, maybe I'll make one spot for it here. Oh shoot, well, that was a mistake. Uh, That's that's the worst when you do that. So let's see. This will be important. Clear all hops. Then what I wanted to do is shrink the zone by one. And then create a stockpile here. Critical ambrosia. So that at least we have some ambrosia here. Flynn immediately took the hops out because... Well, that's what I told her to do, so I can't be too angry. What is going on with our dryads here? <laughs> Let's not think too hard about that. But yeah, it looks like we're a lot better off now. Um... I'm a little worried about green not keeping their psi focus at max, uh, just because we've paired back and we've paired back the amount of meditation time, and this remains a long trip. Uh, I'm not gonna new bears. I'm just gonna let go. Uh, We are extremely due for an event here. Uh, why is someone ready to break? Kenta, it's always you, isn't it? So let's see, I wanted to check. Okay, so side focus bonus 28% here. This doesn't have a psi focus bonus meditation rate. I don't know how hard we would have, how hard a time we would have 
Uh, I'll wait until everyone wakes up to do the Dark Fiesta. But I'm curious about having people meditate here rather than sending them uh, all the way out. Uh, all the way out there. It would be nice not to have to worry about meditating at the anima tree anymore. I hope you're going to replant too, Valentin. A little, a little wary of, of this rather large uh, gap in our fungal fields. Eh, you kind of half did it. Holy geese, Batman. We have 66 geese right now. Yep. That's a thing. I assume we just had an absolute mountain of eggs that just suddenly, uh... Suddenly went off. All right, everybody's awake. Let's have a party. Okay, I wanted to make sure we had power. I didn't want the power going out halfway through the party. That would make it memorable for all the wrong reasons. If you're gonna be like that game, we're gonna do we're gonna do a Gulliver's Travels right now. And everyone's gonna have an amazing time. It's gonna be an incredible event. And that's gonna offset the mood bonus that we just the the mood detriment we just got for our Dark Fiesta. Remembering Gulliver and his travels. Alright, I don't want to watch over here because as soon as this is over, I'm just going to do the last one. It's beautiful. Oh wait, is oh Evie's Evie's in there. That's that might be why we had a bad dark fiesta, actually, now that I think about it. Well, plus six mood for Gulliver's Travels is gonna is gonna offset it. Now this is a bummer. This is kind of the thing we didn't want to happen. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have the a mech raid coming in. Uh, they're gonna come in down here because they're smart and. Because they're smart, they're going to avoid the turrets, which means they're not going to come through like this. So they're going to come through over here. They shouldn't trigger this, uh, but it's a bit of a bummer nonetheless. Uh, what are we at? Hour 13? All right, let's just let's get everybody approximately out over here, and I'm going to have... Elliot try and do a bit of intercepting on the termite. Oh, Elliot doesn't have, gosh darn it. Elliot, Elliot not having Berserker Pulse is a real bummer. Uh, only having Berserker Pulse, excuse me. Uh, all right. Either way, we caused some havoc. And we need to be down here prepared for whatever comes next. Oh, why didn't this get hauled?
Oh, all right, and we're getting uh, unsolicited friendlies. So the Empire is here and has our back, kind of. Uh, they're going to go after the mech cluster, though, unfortunately. I think they're they're not they're just not gonna win though. I think we're fine. We'll just we'll let them go and we'll just get uh get prepared. What is skip's range is pretty good, so we can put green here. Oh they did they did bring out a couple of uh a couple of melees, so I mean What a shame. Someone died. Uh, are they fleeing? Are they going to trigger this when they flee? Yeah, that's going to be a mess. Um, <laughs> e for effort, everybody. All right, so now... The good news is they, they split things up, so things should come in pretty uh, slow and steady, uh, hopefully. Oh yeah, in fact, really good separation. Uh, Wow, not bad. All right. But now the remaining centipedes are going to kind of come in one at a time. And then we can actually save the rest of these folks, assuming five hours, 18 hours. This person will probably, these two will probably get up on their own. So that's not bad. Oh, they got an angle on us. Uh... The Inferno Cannons just have such a long range. Um, does this guy still have a target on us? Looks like it. Uh, all right, let's just... I need them to come around the corner. That's my that's my play here. Because if, if they can't get a shot at us, then... Yeah, okay, that's perfect. There we go. So now, skip you to Amboss. Dang it. Skip you. We'll skip you to here, and then Bivor can come do it. Wow, that guy was fast on the trigger. Jeez, that was like... That was quite the shot right there. Um, okay, we got two more. Amboss is going to extinguish some fire. As soon as it clears the corner there, that's when we want to take it out. Now, we got this one left. I think I'm just going to rush it with Amboss. This is probably a foolhardy move. Uh... But they don't, it's only going to get like two shots, I think. In fact, just one shot. Okay, so now we can... Okay, which ones of these are dying on the quick? All right, so Morrison. Uh, tend to Lima. Rescue Lima. Rescue. Rescue. 
Rescue. Oh, what about this one? All right, tons of time on that one also. Rescue. Everyone else, chill. Romanos, you, my friend, are not going to make it. Sorry. Two hours becomes four hours. Who's starving? Morrison? Tough it out, Morrison. You're almost there. Okay. Rescue. So yeah, the only the only raid we don't want to see here is uh, is mech raids. So of course the only thing that we will be gifted is mech raids, but that's okay. It's a waiting game. Eventually the game will have to give us something else. And when it does, oh the fireworks to be had. Get rid of that. We're not we're not gonna go that far. Hey on boss, take your time here, really. It's a 1,786 year old uh centipede. You can't take that down. Uh yes. Except less less emphasis on on baiting into and more just like inevitably uh inevitably a raid is going to spawn up here and it's going to be uh it's going to be a good time and in the meantime the smoke spewer is not harming us except maybe i i theorize that it might be uh it might be causing us problems uh from a wind perspective but i have i have yet to prove that and we'll probably have to go into the the source code to confirm that one way or the other uh because it's not in the wiki. So, if there is some penalty to wind that comes with a smoke spewer, uh, I have yet to prove it. And I should probably, just to be on the safe side, white shouldn't be on unrestricted. Who's still starving? Oh my gosh. People, come on. That was entirely my fault. I left a whole bunch of people... Uh drafted in there but assuming th the other problem that we're going to run into is uh these these folks that we have in the infirmary i'm relatively sure that when they leave they are going to try to leave here because uh, this is where they originally tried to flee. And if they do that, they will absolutely get wrecked by the mech cluster. So it may be, it may be all for naught, uh, but... Even if only half of them make it out, that's, uh, that's pretty huge. Amboss. You, Umbas, you are having a bad time. For sure. Jeez. Disturb sleep, ate without a table. Oh, your grandparent Cheetah died. The impressive bedroom we can't do anything about because Umbas is, uh, is Flynn's, uh, husband, so... But the the wall got rebuilt quite quite speedily, so that's nice. Amy, you look like you were moving really fast. Wow, quick sleeping, aesthetic, hard worker. That's a that's a solid pawn right there. Unfortunately, they will be off the map before we can get to them. 